All right, so we got into printing some objects. Okay, you got to see that process. Uh, the sizing, the exporting, the everything else. And um, now what we have to do is kind of look at uh, things like scale, and we have to look at interactivity between parts and spacing between parts and how to model for that. Okay, so we're going to kind of use little basic examples here and there. Uh, for one, and on the keyboard, this is probably the most important thing I can actually show you, and I, I briefly touched on this during the process of 3D printing. You know, I said, hey, go in here, here's the dimensions. But I can't say enough that these dimensions are very important to know. The scale is always going to be one. Okay, scale is one. You don't want two. So scale is like if, if, if you went to a photocopier and you wanted to blow something up to 110%. Okay, that's what scale is. Scale is uh, one, well, 1.5, or whatever, but that's scaling the whole thing. Dimensions are the, the rudimentary measurement of the actual 3D object. So if this was 2, and I put it to scale of 2, notice this would be 4, so it's times again. Okay? So just be wary of that. I also I always see students changing scale by accident because they weren't aware of them changing it. Rotation. Uh, rotation is very important in the fact that, you know, now I see students get hung up on rotation a lot because they don't know which one to change. Okay, so here's, an, here's a tip. Here's two ways to do it. Uh, so here's the red. That's going to be X. And if I want to rotate in X, I can do that. But X is red because X is down here is red if you can't remember it. X is always red. Y is always green and Z is always blue. So if I see these colors and I want to rotate something, I just look at the color. Now how do I know if it's a rotation positive or negative? Okay, That's a little trickier. So I look here at the, the compass. So let's say I want to rotate this whole thing on Y clockwise. Okay? Well, clockwise would be um, a positive change this way and a negative change that way. I know this to be true because um, my positive x is on this side. And uh, this is, if I rotate this around, this is my positive y on this side. So let me illustrate this. So clockwise is, let's say, let's just do 9, well, 60. That way we can see the, that thing actually move. Okay, so you can see, if I click and drag here, we can see it rotate. So positive, negative. Now, another way you could do it that's a little easier to wrap your head around sometimes is, let's say I stuck a toothpick in this thing and I wanted to rotate it on the toothpick. Think of this as the toothpick and you're shoving it in there. Um, and you want to rotate it on X. Well, that would be rotating it this way because the, the toothpick is in the object. See? Rotating it on Y. Toothpick is shoved in the object. I want to rotate it on Y. And same with Z. We don't often rotate uh, like 360 degrees. We rotate on like 90s and 180s. So all you do is to learn 90 and 180, and that's about it. Negative 90, negative 180. All right, now, if I rotate something, let's say 90 degrees, and then I scale it, this integrates a change into the mesh. And this change is now in dimensions, and it's in rotations. But sometimes we want to clear those rotations out and uh, that is done by transform apply rotation. Okay, that that zeroes out rotation. Sometimes you want to do that. There's also scale. Look at the scale right now. It's at 1.8. Now it's at 1. Sometimes you have to do that. Here's a, here's a, a a time that you have to do that. 
Let's say I accidentally scale this negative. It looks the same, right? It absolutely looks the same. But if I went down here to display and I went to face normals by back face calling, and then I went object transform or no apply rotation and scale. You're going to see that it turns inside out. So this would never print. It looked like it would right here at this point. It looks like a okay, but anytime I bring it in NetFab, it wouldn't have print. Only when I hit apply rotation and scale did I find out that it was a bad piece. And then I would have to go in here and uh, tab on the keyboard, flip direction, tab on the keyboard. All right. So that's measurements. That's rotations. I know I, it's really boring to watch a video about rotations and, and scale and all that good stuff. But really, it's a rudimentary thing that often gets missed. Oh, uh, what else? Oh, uh, one last thing. Sometimes parts get really big in 3D print land, so it'll get like this. You know, it's huge. Um, not many times, but sometimes they do. And sometimes you lose focus on objects like this. See how it's clipping into the background? Notice that you're in perspective mode. If you hit five, you do see it all, but you still have this clipping. This clipping is occurring because of this right here. So we could put the clip start something smaller and the clip end at something bigger and all of a sudden hey there's my part actually this is irrelevant I mean I could put 5,000 in here and still work okay all right so that is that's it for scale rotation dimensions enjoy go on to the next video